Hello, my name is Andy Martin, Senior Product Design Engineer of EV Charge Kit. In this video, we'll guide you through the simple process of installing, setting up and using the mobile app with your EV Charge Kit Smart EV Charger. To get started, open the App Store if you're using an iPhone or Google Play Store if you're using an Android device. Then type Smart Life in the search bar. Once it shows up, install the app. Launch the app after installation is complete. The app may ask for permission to send notifications. Select Allow. You will also be asked to allow critical alerts. Tap Allow. Review the user agreement and privacy policy and tap Agree to continue. Swipe through the introduction slides to proceed. Tap Try it now on the last slide to continue. You will then be directed to the login page. Tap Sign up to create an account. Confirm the country you are registering in and enter your email address. To continue, check the box to agree to the privacy policy user agreement and children's privacy statement. Once you've done that, tap Get Verification Code. Enter the verification code sent to your email. Now, create a secure password for your account. Once you've done that, tap Done to proceed. The app will request permission to collect usage data and provide personalised recommendations. Select the options you prefer or tap Go to App to skip. Swipe through the last few slides and tap Got it to proceed. Now that you have set up the app, select the plus sign and tap Add Device. The app will then request a list of permissions Tap Continue to proceed. Ensure your phone's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are enabled and that your EV charger is within the same Wi-Fi network range. If your phone asks for permission to let Smart Life find Bluetooth devices, tap Allow. You may also be asked to let Smart Life access your home data. Tap Allow for this as well. Your phone may also ask you to let the app find devices on your local network. Tap Allow. The next step is to power your charger. If you're using the Smart 10, plug it into a standard UK wall socket. For the Smart 16, use a standard EU Shuko socket. And for the Max 32, connect it to a blue commando socket. The EV charger should now appear in the app. Tap it to continue. Choose your Wi-Fi network, enter the password and tap Next to connect. Tap Done to finish adding the EV charger. You have now successfully set up the app and can now monitor and control your charging. To access time delay and scheduling features, select where it says Charging Mode. By default, the charger uses real-time charging. You can also choose quantitative, fixed time or delayed charging modes. Real-time charging starts as soon as the charger is connected and continues until the battery is fully charged. To charge your EV to a specific level, switch to quantitative charging and input the target value. Fixed time charging lets you schedule between specific start and end times, ideal for utilising off-peak electricity rates. Alternatively, delayed charging allows you to set a delay, specifying the number of hours before charging begins. Return to the home screen and tap the settings menu for additional options. To receive a report of your charging, tap charge record export and provide your email address. Then tap on your desired time frame and select confirm. To change the amperage, return to the settings menu and select Charging Current. Just remember, the Smart 10 ranges from 6 to 13 amps, the Smart 16 from 6 to 16 amps, and the Max 32 from 6 to 32 amps. 
To view the list of protection alarms, return to the settings menu and tap system setting. You can then customize which alarms are active and define the thresholds that trigger them. Now that you've adjusted all settings, you're ready to connect the charger to your EV. Return to the home screen on the app and swipe the charging slider to the right to begin charging. Your EV is now charging successfully. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.